Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. So we were recently had a, a user ask how they can have a, a download or get resource button from an image, just like you could do in Xano when uh, generating a CSV through the API. So if you're not familiar with that, we have a tutorial and snippet on that. Uh, I have it here on my screen. I won't go through all that logic, but I'll just show you when I run and debug this. If I run this, we have this download button. And what that does is it actually downloads uh, this data as a CSV. If I were to take this endpoint URL and paste it in to my browser or run it somewhere, it would start to download that CSV. So how can we actually uh, do that with images now? So here on my uh, screen, I just have an endpoint that grabs an image and you can see if we just, let me go ahead and add the response here because I just had taken away. So if I save this and let me go ahead and run this now. So if we go ahead and run this for image one, uh, you can see, you know, I get the whole object record back, right? ID created app, but now here in my images field, we have that URL. And we know we can use that URL to actually uh, display or redirect to that image, but um, how can we simply have a get resource button right here to go to that image or make this endpoint uh, actually redirect uh, directly to that image? Uh, so the way to do that is if we go to our function stack and go to utility functions and find this HTTP header, we can go ahead and define a custom header here and it's gonna be a location with a colon here. And then I'm gonna do a percent %s because this allows for variable text substitution. Uh, that URL is gonna go there. So we're basically going to redirect to that image URL, but I want it to be dynamic. So that's why I'm doing this percent %s. And then I'm gonna add a filter here and just do s printf. And my argument here will be that variable model. We'll say dot images because that's the field name and finally dot URL. So if I update this and save this, and if I go ahead and just run this now for image one, and we don't even need a response anymore, but you can see I can hit get resource and I should be uh, taken directly to uh, that image. Now I can go ahead and download this or do as I please. Um, also, I'm gonna go ahead and remove uh, this response this time. But if I were to actually uh, take this endpoint URL, and I'm gonna wanna make sure to substitute that images ID with a uh, valid record number there. So I just go ahead and paste that. And then I'm just going to uh, put in, we'll put in two this time. You can probably see in that drop down here, but if I just hit enter and go directly to that endpoint, well now we'll be redirected to uh, the image uh, at that path for uh, record number two. Um, so as you can see, a pretty handy um, HTTP header there, location. It's basically like a redirect, but you can use that for uh, getting a resource for something like an image, just like you can download a CSV through uh, the API in Xano.